Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you all are doing good. In today's class, I am going to explain how to do the OS service monitoring in Dynatrace. By default, OS service monitoring is disabled. We need to enable it back. In case of Dynatrace, we will do the monitoring at the three levels. Let me show that. I'll just open a notepad file. I will write it down. So first thing is we can monitor at the host level. Second thing we can monitor at the host group level and third thing is we can monitor at the environment level. What does mean by it? So if you want to monitor any particular service on one particular server, then you can go ahead with the first option that is host service monitoring. And second condition is if you have a couple of servers or a bunch of servers like 10 servers, on those 10 servers you want to monitor a particular service, then you create a host group and apply the service monitoring configuration to that. That is the second thing. And final one is environment level monitoring. What is environment level monitoring here? Whatever the configuration you apply, that will be applicable to the entire environment. Not like a particular host or particular host group, nothing like that. It will affect the entire environment. So depending on the requirement, so we need to make the changes. As I said, by default, OS service monitoring is disabled. OS OS service monitoring is disabled. Okay, let me show that where we can see that. So go to the search option, type setting, and here you find an option called setting, and it will open. So once it prompts to the next page, you are seeing an option called OS service monitoring. Just click on that OS service monitoring, and then once it went into the next page where it will show the clear cut information that the OS related services are under monitoring or not the first option is related to the Linux that means Linux related services are under monitoring or not the second one is Windows as the name indicate auto start Windows OS services if you enable this one the simple process just if you click like this it will enable once you enable it is going to monitor all the Windows related I mean OS related services in the environment so just to avoid the alert flooding or a problem flooding because whenever the server get reboot there are chances that many of the service get reboots right so in that case this, there is a possibility of alert flooding to avoid that we can make the changes in such a way that whichever required for our monitoring we can enable it individually okay so just to show that it is not enabled by default i have explained so far so now i will go to a host and i'll explain how to enable the os service monitoring i will type host and then I'll go to the host tab and here in my environment I have only one server with the name Dynatrace okay so I'll just open the Dynatrace server I just clicked on that it will open the next page and once it connected to the next page at the top end you are seeing a three dots here just click on that three dots then go to setting okay now it opened the next page here you are seeing the host name if you want to modify the host name that you can do it here for example you can do as uh, dynatrace 001 or dynatrace import and something like that whatever you want you can change the name here so once you make the changes and click on apply the same thing will be reflecting inside the host where we have opened earlier but i am not making the changes here just i explained here once uh, this config is this particular part is cleared i will just come down and here you will find an option called OS services monitoring. So this is the place where we are going to configure a particular service for the monitoring purpose. I click on add policy and then choose uh, what is the OS. Is it a Linux one or Windows one? Since it is my laptop is Windows one, I'll just choose the Windows and type the rule name. For example, uh, which service I would like to monitor? Just open the services. Okay. I just opened it for a demonstration purpose I will go with the sprint fuller services it is not going to affect anything I am just looking for a print spooler yeah you can see right print spooler service I'll just open and I'll just copy the name okay and now I'll click on ok I'll go back to our Dynatrace console I will mention as spooler service monitoring okay so i just added that 
Now, there are three conditions that is monitor, alert, alert if service is not installed. As a name itself clearly indicating if the service is not present on any of the server, whatever you have chosen, if that service is not present, rise an alert. That is the third condition. Okay, alert if service is not installed. The another condition is alert. If that service is stopped, then we want the alert. That is second condition. Then monitor. It is going to monitor the service as well. So I'll just select this also. And now here we need to provide the condition as a name indicate service status condition for the alerting. So on what basis it is going to generate the alert. By default they have given something that not equals to running. That means spooler service not equal to running then generate the alert. That is what the condition. Okay. Now I have come to the next page that is detection rule. I need to search the service name here whatever I have given just as a reference name I have given spooler but I need to identify from the Diana address perspective as well right now come down and click on detection rule on what basis it is going to detect okay so rule scope is OS service because we are monitoring the service right OS related service so I just selected a rule as OS service then I need to provide the property. What are the options were available? Many things are there like display name, manufacturer name, path, service name. I will go with the service name. Okay. Then condition I need to provide. If you don't know how to provide the condition, if you click on this icon, that is I icon, you are able to see the information. I will go with the first option that is dollar contains. So I just copied it and I have provided the same thing here. But now what I will do, I'll just replace that SSH with our service name. I'll copy the service name, okay? And then I'll replace that with the spooler. That's it. So now what we are doing, we are doing a Windows level spooler service monitoring and the condition is when it is not running. What not running? This particular service that is spooler. Okay, then generate the alert. That is what the condition we have given. Now I will save the changes. So like this, you have enabled the OS level service monitoring for a particular services. Okay, so this is for the host level. Likewise, you can create it for the host group also and even for the environment also. So just to show that whether the problem uh, is creating or not, what I will do, I'll just stop the service. Okay, and I'll wait for a few minutes so that you are able to see the problems okay problems are nothing but uh, the alerting notification you can see it here also as you can see two problems are already there so if you click on that page it will automatically go to the problem section if you don't know that uh, part you can come to this search option and here also you will find problem okay problems are there i'll just click on that now the count is increased to three. Why? Let me see that. Okay, you can see right. Print spooler services un. Uh, what is that? Let me wait. Okay. Uh, print spooler services undesirable state or stopped state. Okay, it is clearly telling it is in the stopped state. Why it is in the stopped state? Because just to generate the alert, we are stopped intensity. Right. So I'll just minimize this. You can see the further more information like affected infrastructure, all those things. If you click on show details also, it will give the clear cut idea what exactly uh, alert is. This is the OS service monitoring alert and then spooler service monitoring. That is the name we have given OS service. All those things uh, you are able to see the proper information here. Okay. So this is how you need to generate uh, or you need to monitor the OS related alerts. Now, if I start back the service, uh, the problem will go automatically. If I started back, right. Okay. Now the service is running. If you refresh the Dynatrace console for a few minutes, it will again, uh, the problem will close automatically because uh, that uh, our service is started. So Dynatrace is capable enough to detect that information and to close the alert automatically. Still it is showing three minutes. We can wait for a few minutes. Okay. The count has reduced to two. You can see right. And the color was also changed earlier. It was in a red color. Now it came back to the uh, green color why the service is started running and the alert also closed and you can see the closed and the open alert also properly if you select the closed alerts you are able to see only the closed one you can see that print spooler is in the closed state if you want to see the open alerts just click on the open it is going to see the whatever the currently existing alerts and if you select any it is going to give the combination of all those things okay 
closed open everything you are going to get and along with that also there are different set of uh, uh, filterings were available depending on your requirement you can choose that but uh, from this class that's what i wanted to say OS service monitoring you can enable at the host level host group level and environment level in this demo i have explained how to do it for the individual level hope the class is very useful for you guys and uh, thank you so much if you are visiting our channel for the first time kindly subscribe and bye for now